aka Princess Zamunda. AJ still uh, doing a quarantine for COVID. He st he doesn't have it though. He doesn't got it. He doesn't got it. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, cool. And Champagne Ron got Daddy Dewey. So I'm gonna hold it down for Ish Talk. And we got a special guest here, uh, Marcus King. Second time. We gonna yes. talk to him about uh, Realton and all that other stuff. But uh, first, y'all, make sure y'all go check out Ish Talk Brownies. Okay. Um, what's they call? How you pronounce this word, baby? How you pronounce it? In income? Incapacity. Yeah, say it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll put you on your ass. ass. <laughs> It'll put you on your ass, okay? Incapacitated? Yeah, yes. Make sure you, you can get them on our website or you can just DM us on, on IG, all right? And also, we got merch. We got Ish Talk merch. Go to utcdmv.com where you can order your brownies and you can order some merch. And also, uh, you got a clothing line too, right? Yes, I got a clothing line. It's called Phantom Fan Two Me. You have to be your own biggest fan in a world full of followers. Mm. You gotta be your big, you gotta be your biggest fan, man. So it's all about self confidence. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. And um, can you, uh, can you show number uh four? <coughs> you got your information for uh your the, the realtor. The okay. Realtor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, so it's been about a been about a year now in uh, in real estate. It's been real fun, man. Uh, you got definitely it's it's it's, it's like a, it's like a hunting sport for real for real because you you eat what you keep you know what I'm saying or uh, well, you keep what you eat or uh, you, you eat hunt. what you you care <laughs> what you eat you keep you got you got you, you got whatever you, whatever, you, whatever, you hunt, whatever you hunt you get you know what I'm saying <laughs> so yeah so it's a it's a constant uh it's a constant like challenge but like I, I love it I wish I actually would have gotten into it straight out of high school to be honest just because it's uh I get to deal with people. Uh, just like how I get to deal with people when I'm on the stage with comedy and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes you feel like you're not even a rose. Sometimes, sometimes you're a therapist because you know they you helping somebody do their biggest purchase of their life, and that's a big thing right there. So like uh, one thing in life, I said I want to be able to give uh, joy, be able to give back to my community and stuff like that. So being able to be able to show people how to buy a house and be getting getting the ownership is something real big, and mm. I, I really pride myself on it. Amazing. I want to talk to you more about that because a lot of us, a lot of people, I know people that try and get a, a place around here. Yeah. And it's hard, especially if you don't know what's going on. Exactly, exactly. Um, but uh, what's going on was the uh, DMX and the Snoop Dogg uh, versus. Yeah. Did you watch it anything? Did you <laughs> yeah, watch any I, of it? I, I did, so I saw a little bit of it, man. DMX got a little chubby though. Yeah, you know I, I know. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> when people strung out, they don't uh, they don't eat. But so since he's eating, yeah. he's good. He, yeah, you know, like, he, 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 he eat. He's good. good. Yeah, like he, yeah. And then like he did like a little prayer in the beginning. I thought it was Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, apparently they're saying Snoop took it easy on him. Yeah. But uh, somebody was on Twitter that was like, um, DMX. Uh, Snoop Dogg ain't never done no shit like this, going in front of uh, thousands of hundreds of people in the crowd doing all that shit. Who do you like growing up, DMX or uh, hey, to, Snoop? To be honest, I I, I love DMX. That's like you know what I'm saying, like where my dogs at, all that. Mm. Like yeah, Rough Riders. Like that was that was that was a that was a good time for real. Like he was he was real aggressive. I, I don't know why he had such an attitude back then, but you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but. And, but Snoop Dogg too, like uh, the song he did with uh, Pharrell, Beautiful Girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like I, I mean, I probably would go with Snoop before I go with uh, DMX, but like, nah, I, I fuck with him. They took a poll <laughs> on IG saying, who would you got? And the people was like, what was it, like 64% Snoop? So, I guess. Yeah, nah, DM, DMX, DMX is like, DMX, he... He, he was a he was a good rapper, man. He, he had a uh, song with I, I, I'm bad with like remembering actually the songs' names and everything like that. And like, dang, where, where was you when the coach was going around? But like, you you, <laughs> you didn't have um the box. Remember, like if you growing up in the DMV in the DMV area, it was like a program on TV. It was some channel, and you can call in, and it'll like sh it'll like play the video for you. So people were playing like, <laughs> for real? yeah, like cash money songs and all that stuff. Nah. Um, it was a song called uh, Romeo and Juliet. Hot sex on the on the planet, get you wet. <laughs> you, you ever heard that song? Nah. I mean, the DMV, the first DMV song. I mean, I just, like I would say the DMV song that I always remember. Remember that song, put me in the pocket. Mm. <laughs> like that was like the, the first, like, one of the first rap song. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember that. Yeah. 
Uh, what else? Um, who we got? Um, I'm not even gonna say nothing about the Kanye joint because oh, yeah, yeah. we all know he crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's, he he need to get some help, man. You know, he gets he gets be having like outbursts out of nowhere, just talking real crazy. But I mean, I, I feel like he tr he reads the things before he tries to say it. And then when he tries to say it, it just comes out completely wrong. I think he got the same thing going on in my brain. Like he tries to say something, but then when it comes out, it's something right there that just shoot out something else. Say fuck y'all, motherfuckers. But the whole time I'm saying I love y'all. Yeah. No. I, no. I don't know. I mean, if people say he wasn't the same since since his mother died, but like, I mean, mm. people say you know that you know he's having mental health issues, and some people say some people say he's even a weak man. But I mean, ain't no weak man making a billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? But he might do have some mental issues and stuff like that. I'm glad uh, Chappelle seen the, went to go see him and everything the other day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like a real yeah, rare yeah, conversation, right, right. like how they was having the conversation. Oh, you, oh, you saw the video? I, yeah. I just saw it. I, was, I don't want to click it. I don't want to. I just like, thought like, he was standing around like. It was like, like, say something. Like, say a joke. I was like, you know, comedians hate when somebody gets telling them on the spot. They get, say a joke. Like, they're puppet and stuff like that. But you can see Chappelle was like, man, you know what? It's cool, it's cool, man. You know what I'm saying? And he said, say uplifted joke. He's like, you know I don't say those. And they all get started laughing. But yeah, they, then they took their picture. But it, it seemed like it was, it seemed like it was genuine. You know, remember, uh, Kanye used to be on the Chappelle show. We used to, after he had a little, when he had a lot, when he used to do like, he used to rap after, after oh, the show was on. Uh huh. Yeah. I remember he did a, um, Chappelle did a one with, um, Talib Kweli? Yeah. But I just want to, I just want to update y'all. Fuck him. Uh, what's his name? Tali Kwali. What he do? He's well. He first he got today. He just got kicked off Twitter For because real? he was harassing a black a black woman or something. He goes hard on Twitter. Like he be like going at going at people. Yeah. Just citizens. No problem. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, he go hard on people. <laughs> so fuck him. He, also, he, he said something about this uh this like black uh, grassroots group. But anyway, fuck him. But uh yeah, um, Kanye. You know about Kim's going to divorce him, so I didn't know that you know, she was going to divorce him. Though, right? When you, when you married to a crazy motherfucker, did did she, I wonder did she know he was crazy before? I mean, she had to know he was crazy. Like she had to know he was he was he was somewhat crazy. I mean, she had kids with him. You know what I'm saying? Like after you have kids with somebody, I think you gotta know. Like hey. It's something wrong with him. Did she like, realize like, it? Why, why did you fuck him? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe when he met or something. He probably did some weird stuff. Like, let's watch Ray J videos or something. <laughs> How come you do, do me like him? How come you don't do me like him? I just want one wish. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Yo, uh, what's going on with black celebrities when they go to Hollywood? Because um, recently... One of the Braxton sisters, yeah. she tried to commit suicide because one of the um, company's networks was exposed one of her family's secrets. I just feel like when black people, you know, we had uh, you know Kanye and a lot of other celebrities, they lose their mind when they and and uh, Holly, Holly Weird. Yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a lot of stuff that goes on that we don't know about <laughs> behind the scenes, and probably only somebody that really lived through it can really tell you about it. But like you, you already know about the the Epstein and stuff like that, and like stuff they do with kids and stuff like that. So it's some sick stuff going on. At they Hollywood. gonna say, Marcus, we love your comedy. How about you? It's gonna be a Jewish man. <laughs> Marcus, we love your comedy. Nah. Won't you come over here to L.A.? We have a sitcom for you. Won't nah. you come over here? We got a contract for you for a year. You can't do nothing. We are gonna hold you down for a year. Million dollar contract. You gonna do it? I mean, you get he didn't. You can say he was a Jewish guy. I definitely against the Jewish community, but like me neither. <laughs> me neither. But like, I mean, I'm gonna look at the terms. If it's, if it's some weird stuff going on, then I'm not doing it. If it's something that I can I can agree with, I can I can get down with for a million dollars. Yeah, but like if it's something that's like that's sick and twisted, <laughs> I'm I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it at all. Like I. <laughs> I go to a different show. I know they gonna give me a million. I know somebody's gonna give me three million. Or four they million. gonna take you to one of those little parties, those secret parties, in one of those mansions. Oh, nah, I'll, I'll like Marcus, the party. Marcus, we got a we got a mansion for you for nah. you to sell. I I walk out of party. Quick. It's a ten bedroom. <laughs> I walk out of party quick. I don't care if it's a million dollars, three million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I know I'm gonna get it somewhere else if, if, if they gonna offer it to me. You know what I'm saying? You will. It's hard to find a. <laughs> 
black, go to go to somebody black and hold you down. I'm saying, or find a black media company, because they say Revolt is a um, black owned, but it's not really black owned. An Indian person owns Revolt. Yeah. And I, in, I did. He was talking about how um, Nick Cannon should have his show while now go over there and shit. To, um, to be honest, I think I think uh, Nick Cannon should get all his the rights to all his. Uh, Cause he he built Raw now. You don't know Wild now without Nick Cannon. You know what I'm saying? And the things that he's been doing in the community, it's it's unmatched. You know what I'm saying? You ain't seen a community. You ain't seen nobody out here as much as you seen Nick Cannon in the streets fighting for our injustice, police brutality, different stuff like that. So like, I, I mean, I'm I'm all for Nick, but like, going to revolt, I think Nick might be better against putting himself on YouTube. <laughs> to be honest, you know what I'm saying? With his own platform, he got enough support. Uh, from his, well, uh, if we can put his tweet up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, basically how black people turned on him and he apologized to, you know he apologized and everything. Yeah, I did. Did you have a problem with his apology? Uh, no, uh, because it's some things that we don't know about, uh, that we get taught about the Jewish community that we don't really know about, so we don't know how hurtful it is to them. But also what he said about the white people and coming from the mountains of, uh, cause, 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 yeah, cause, cause, I, I forgot how you say it, but uh, that's actually very, very true. Like, you know, especially what he said about our melanin and stuff like that. Like, I, it's a lot of, it's a lot of lies that got taught to us in history. And one of the things that they don't want you to know about that, you know, it was hard for them to survive in the sun. That's why they were out. <laughs> That's why they were out in the, the wilderness and stuff like that. And then also in the Bible, it talks about how uh, how they had different sons, and one of the sons went out into the the wilderness, and one son stayed home with the mother. And they said that was supposed to be like the house nigga. The, 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 yeah, the field nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, I wasn't saying like that, but it was the same. It was like one, one got darker, one got lighter. One one actually was 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 uh, actually. One took care of the home, and one actually was just out there, you know, just surviving. And the the father actually, uh, it's, it's I forgot what story it is in the Bible, but the father actually liked the son more because he was going out in the wilderness. He was living on his own, mm -hmm. living like this, and, that. Mm -hmm. and they said the other one was back home, you know, taking care of his family. But his mother loved that one so much that was taking care of the family that. Uh, that she actually tricked the she actually tricked one of her father. I'm not sure, sure if it's Abraham or something like that to actually giving him his birthright. So Damn. that's why they were saying that. Ooh, okay, saying, I got you. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So I wonder, yeah. What, I wonder what part of the Bible that is. Yeah, we we but, gotta read up on that. Yeah. Cause yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. The, the Bible is a man-made thing too, so you, know, you can't follow everything. So. <laughs> uh, Nick was like, well, one of the last posts he said, apparently he's on suicide watch, or people think he's on suicide. He said, I hurt an entire community and it pained me to my core. I thought it, I thought it couldn't get any worse. Then I watched my own community turn on me and call me a sellout for apologizing. Good night, enjoy Earth. Um, I think one of the people, one of the reasons why some of the people got mad was, like you said, uh, he, he was talking this talk and yeah. people were believing him people were following him and he got to a point where he he got to the ledge and he watched his people like just fall off the the cliff like he just stayed there apologized like everybody was just following him and then he just apologized and he make everybody look stupid like well i mean he yeah. had he had the canon the canon class talking all this pro black stuff and when the times got hard, when times got to the point, he got to the line, he, he, he backed up. I mean, the thing I think he, I think he was apologizing to, I think he was apologizing more towards the, the Jewish community and not apologizing to what he said on, like, what he was talking about with the melanin. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, today, today's day and age, everybody's going to talk about you, uh, <laughs> whether you do something good or right. you do something exactly. bad. Exactly. So, I mean, I guess to feel like he, it was a lot coming at him at one point. So he uh -huh. felt like he did have to apologize because of, because uh, you know he did lose his shows and stuff like that. You, you but you think he really feels that way about Jewish people? I don't think he feels. I don't think. I don't think he's. Uh, he feels that way about Jewish. Because I know his lawyers is probably Jewish. 
and he has Jewish yeah he probably has a lot of Jewish people working for him or you know over top of him writing his check you know what I'm saying like <laughs> so maybe I don't know like why would you say it in, say that the stuff about the Jewish part but Mm. Yeah, I but mean, I hope he gets the show back. <laughs> I hope he gets. A, I hope he gets a lot of stuff back, man. I mean, yeah, I feel man. like I feel like Nick Cannon is, is is genuine at heart, and I mean, when they take that from me, man, you know what I'm saying. He and he grew up. He even grew up in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying. And yeah, for, Nickelodeon. For him to grow up in Hollywood, and they talk about how all those child stars are messed up and stuff like that. Like, look at Orlando Brown. Like that guy is. It's, it's totally did you, messed did up. Did you think? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you think <coughs> Nick Cannon was corny? Growing up, uh, at, well, he started rapping, yeah, mm. but everything else he did was cool. Like you know, what I'm saying I love love though, cause the thing. I still do a little kick him in the uh, hi ya. Ah. Cha, cha, cha. Ah. <laughs> that was my shit. He said one line I, I like from that movie. Um, uh, all right, so free Nick, <laughs> yeah, free Nick for real. All right. We got Marcus King in the house. Uh, we're gonna go to fuck the cops. I know you got you can't, you can't do that. Uh, I got my AJ's here and 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 and, and, and Ghost. Okay, he's still alive though. So every week we do this little pledge. I need y'all at home, hey, sitting back, which holding your jet. I'll this last time I was on the show. Put your right hand, so you can't do that no more. And I say I pledge allegiance to fuck the cops. Will I got some texts to get some respect? 187. Amen. Can I get an amen at least? Amen. 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 Okay. We gotta show that shit. Hold on. Hey now, but yeah. <laughs> Fuck the cops. Alright, so you know what's going on? Do you have an idea what's going on in Seattle with um in Portland, my bad. Yes. Yeah. Apparently they just Trump are sending in a secret army or something to snatching up random people. People ain't even doing nothing. And now they got in Seattle they got moms going out to even and they and they beating up the mom. They tear gassing the the mayor. <laughs> so so now Trump is saying he wants to send uh those those troops to Chicago and people are saying yes send the troops to Chicago. My thing is well you can go ahead what do you think about I mean, I feel like putting, this is basically martial law for real, like, you know what I'm saying? They bring in the whole, like, they bring in the Army National Guard to uh, basically police these people that basically gets protested for basically our rights, to be honest, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, you know, this country was, was made off of protests, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, what do you think the Boston Tea Party was and mm -hmm. stuff like that, where they threw all the tea in the water, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like... This whole country was made from protests, and especially because, I mean, if the Indi if the Indian, I mean, Native Americans started protesting, then you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of stuff that needs to be protested against, and I feel like protests actually get things across, or they let people heard. They said, mm -hmm. uh, "Shoot, uh, rioting is the is, is the is the is the language of people that can't be heard." That's exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, and what, also one of the things that comes with protests is sometimes it can get hijacked. And um, one of the things they're saying now is Black Lives Matter is getting hijacked by other groups and everything with other agendas. And they have this thing called Defund the Police, where Trump is, that's one of his things, is one, of, one of the things he's going to go by is by saying um, he's going to be more hard, he's going to be like more police and um, what's it called? Law and order. He wants okay. to do that. So uh, that's a code word for I'm going to keep the niggas at bay. I'm going <laughs> to take care of more police. Yeah. And he's, and and Biden's even saying yes. I I, I don't want to. I don't want to defund the police. So, I mean, I don't think. I mean, when I, when they say defund the police, I, I they actually just mean put the put the money in different areas, like like social work. You know right. what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. like just because somebody's going crazy or having a mental breakdown, don't mean he needs to be shot with a gun. He needs somebody to be able to talk to him and calm him down and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that has training with doing that. Now, if you're if you're trained when somebody's hostile to pull out a gun and shoot them in the most vital part of their body, then what do you think they're gonna do if you got trained to do that? Right. You I was thinking, like, how come there's no resource officer to go with the cop? Like, if they get if someone gets they get a call like, yo, my cousin and he he's off his meds. Is send somebody exactly. with the cop? Like, yo. Um, and one of the things we're going back to defund the police is when it comes to the language. 
yes, to us it means move, change the funds to more resources, but to yeah. white people in the suburbs, they thinking like, oh, lawless shit. Yeah. You no, know, they want no police. So, of course, it, things get uh, mangled in the language. Definitely anyway. not talking about with the Wild, wild West or nothing like right. that. Right. You know so, you know, but. so of course, they're not going to say fund the police. So, fuck the cops. That's <laughs> all I got to say. All right. Now, we got another one. I don't know if you, we, this new one, I don't know if you did it last time on the show, but it's called Drop a Gem. It's where we just drop some information for y'all. Okay, you know, move on, like the more you know. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, and now this one is uh, housing. House, okay. Housing discrimination. Uh, yes. A new report from Redfin, only uh, 44% uh, black families own their homes as of the first quarter of 2020 compared to 73.7 percent of white uh, households but in DC you know it's good news in DC because yeah. you know black people but in DC was the only city in the country where a majority of black households were homeowners where a house house ownership rate of 51 percent so that's good you know um, also in the article it said about the decline of black ownership since 2012 is a reflection of the impact of the Great Recession, you know, in 2018, yeah, I mean, yeah uh, 2008, yeah. Uh, during the housing crisis, uh, black households faced foreclosure at twice twice the rate of white of their white neighbor. So, um, largely because uh, black families were targeted with subprime loans, you know, uh, AKA nigga loans. Yeah, uh, definitely since the beginning of time and since the beginning of real estate, uh, black people have not been able to to basically prosper as much as we want to in the real estate field because restrictions that they tried to put on us. Like when they talked about redlining, they took yeah. this, the, the, the different area codes that they felt that the black people lived in and they said, you know, okay, uh, if they come from this area, we're not going to let them live in our neighborhood. Or we're not gonna we're not gonna sell a house to them if they come from this area. Or if they're black, we're not gonna. They basically redlined the whole neighborhood or different places and said, look, if they're if they're from that line, or behind, behind that line, then look, they can't buy houses or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Then also uh, this this discrimination in real estate right now. That's why when you become a real estate agent, you learn so much about uh, discrimination and stuff like that. But I mean, I still feel like you know with some some people higher up and stuff like that that may still be. You know, doing it. I feel like when when we change laws, sometimes I just feel like the <laughs> our opposite tries to to just try to find different ways to do it, uh, even 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 more sneakier, even more crazier. Or my uh, or my net might not even enforce it. <laughs> yeah, just like just like uh, I, I heard about uh, Larry, Larry Hogan, like our, our own governor. Uh, he actually. In Baltimore, they were supposed to get a, a train system so they wouldn't have to take the bus all the way into the city and everything like this. A train system? Uh, well, basically like a transportation system. Oh, okay. So like basically it was supposed to be a, uh, it was supposed to be a train that actually goes all the way through like uh, through Baltimore that went through the cities that, I mean, basically through the neighborhoods that are most majority, majority black. Uh, but I heard that he actually said, he, he actually stopped that whole uh, transition from that. So which means that it was harder for people of color to get to work in the different areas. And then uh, also, it, it, instead of them taking them, you know, maybe an hour to get to work, it's taking them, you know, almost four hours, three hours to get to work. Mm. Uh, and then he also said that, you know, some of the Baltimore City school system, this was probably like in like the 2000, like 2000, uh, like er earlier in the 2000s, like 2010s, 2013, just like that. Uh, he was, he actually took took money from the school systems in Baltimore and gets ref and said he was going to fix streets and stuff like that. And if you've been in Baltimore, it's like going through Six Flags <laughs> in a <the> car <laughs> on the streets. So you already know. So I mean, I just feel like it's different things that gets done to our people that we don't even we don't even see coming. Mm. And you gotta actually really learn and, and dig about it to really figure it out. Or you gotta get in a position as in being able to. Uh, getting a position of power to be able to help, you know what I'm saying, get people to learn, learn about real estate, you know what I'm saying, like everybody I'm telling on, like if people can hit me up on Instagram, I just tell them what I need to tell them about uh, getting a house, like how to, the first couple steps, I don't charge them anything or anything like that, if they, if they want to get me, use me to uh, 
to buy a house, then yeah, I'll help them buy, buy a house. But like, just to learn about the knowledge of what you need to do or how you need to fix your credit and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I mean, we're all learning about that type of stuff. Right. Yeah, so like. Is it a, have a, you, you're a realtor, so is, have you faced any discrimination? Like when you, uh, yeah, call the cops you yeah, yes. Actually, I, I have got the cops called on me. One time I was actually showing a, a probably a, a, a black, uh, it, was, it was a black guy around the age of like maybe like he was like in his early early 40s uh we went to go see a house in Gordov. as soon as we walked out of the house two police officers come out and say hey is this your house and i was like no and they was like what do you mean i was like this is not my house i'm showing the house because i'm a i'm a realtor right you know what i'm saying and he, he was like okay well i need to see some identification and stuff like that i was like this is i said i said sir you know you actually like it's like it's like me walking into a police station and say hey i need to see your identification <laughs> right. You said that though. <laughs> I mean, no, I didn't. I didn't say that because, like, I met with a client, and I actually didn't. I actually didn't want anything to escalate because oh, you, you know right. I, gotcha. I, I was actually with a, with a client. So, uh, but you know, even my client was like, "Man, that's so unprofessional that they came out here." You know, I had to show them my. I had actually usually shown them I'm a real estate agent. I had to call the listing agent and tell them that look, you know, I had an appointment for this house, but like I shouldn't have had to do that. That must have been like embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, the, the guy still bought a house, so like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, but like, <laughs> but like, yeah, like, the first house I ever sold was to a 25-year-old black man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel What's like that's going to that's help his generation for a long time, but like, yes, I have ran into discrimination. Did you see somebody look out the window, like, peeking? I, I didn't, and I, I wanted to, too, like, I mean, you wanted I wanted to walk in the middle of the street, oh, what's this? Right. <laughs> Yeah, nah. Shut your face, coward! I didn't see, I didn't see anybody nah. who did it, but like, I, I definitely know it was definitely a Karen around mm. <laughs> peeking out somewhere. Did you, uh, what's the name of the dude that got killed? He went, he was jogging and he went in the house. He went in inside of a house, an uh, undeveloped house. Oh, uh. And it was like, um. Ahmaud Arbery. Yes. Yeah. Did you think of anything like that? Like, that shit can happen? Uh. Cause you're well, you. I guess you. I, I run in the morning too, so like I. I mean, but you don't be running running inside like undeveloped. No, no undeveloped houses. No, I I don't. But like, even if I was, well, let's say I was uh, somebody that wanted to, you know, look at a, a, a undeveloped house. Like you know, what I'm saying I just wanted to see exactly what it's. Cause I've I've been around like abandoned houses and stuff like that, looking at it, to see exactly if it's right. something that I may want to buy or wholesale or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I feel like that could have happened to anybody, and if you if you've grown up in like the suburbs and stuff like that, you see houses get built. It's so many different kids that that go into the side those houses and stuff like that. Right. Uh, should you be, be shot for it? No. Nah. <laughs> should, should, did, did did he take anything? He just looked around, and you know what I'm saying. Like yeah, he probably shouldn't have been going into you know trespassing and stuff like that. But like to be honest, it was actually an open. It was actually open. It actually even had no signs saying no trespassing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. Are we good over there? We are, are good. We are I think I'm gonna start doing that though. Every time I sell the house, I'm gonna get a bottle of champagne. They can just you know christen. The I house. sold on a scary movie. <laughs> uh, we're back here. Uh, we're gonna go to. Uh, we were talking about uh, housing discrimination and uh, and black ownership. Now let's go to DMV news. DMV news. Pop, pop, pop. Can we get some go-go music? Pop, 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 pop. Okay, give me some go-go music, man. Come on, give me something. <laughs> All right. I actually don't got no. Uh, yeah, you ain't gotta go. go. All right, that's cool. Right. We don't gotta go to the video yet, but uh, so apparently I just started saying this word, and I just started. I started. I used this word maybe once, and it was two months ago, and now apparently, uh, the whole United States has started using it. The New York and Florida and they fucked it up. The glizzy and nah, the, 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 word, is, the word glizzy been around for a little while though. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I I went in college and stuff like that. Like it was just like it's like a it's like a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like when somebody has a hot dog and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They call it like a glizzy. You know what I'm saying? Like oh you about to get a glizzy? But they what they mean is like it's it's, it's like it, they kind of referring to like a like a dick for real. So they say, oh you, oh you about to, oh you about to, you about to eat that glizzy, or they be like, oh you got a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so, so it came from the. That's where it came from. That's where it came from. Yeah. So that's like a, a white, a black dude's version of like how white dudes be 
um, making making dick jokes. And, yeah, that's okay. exactly that's actually that's a really good explanation for it. Yeah, that's okay. exactly what it means. But now other cultures use it and stuff like that. They yeah. probably don't know how to use it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> and you got this the girl, the video of this girl, and the dude's playing the game, and then she gonna put a little prank on him and put the motherfucking hot dog. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> and then so, and, and I guess they had an accent, so they were saying, you got the gloggy, you got the, the glizzy, glizzy, you got the gloggy, glizzy. <laughs> so, you gotta retire that word. I don't think you gotta retire, though. You like, gotta retire? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> definitely DMV com uh, comedians have made that word, like, very uh, popular. Like, I would say, like, like, uh, David, Davey Ruffin. Ah, uh, okay. He used a lot. Yeah, he did like whole segments on on Glizzy. So definitely, DMV comedy scene has brought that word to life a lot. <laughs> Shout out to the DMV comedy scene. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, next DMV news. Um, apparently, I'm gonna call this the DMV Ten Commandments. But uh, Lil Ray, I'm gonna see if I can. I don't think I can zoom in. But it said DMV. How to survive in the DMV. Let me know if you got a problem with it, alright? <laughs> number one, uh, don't be no bitch. Yeah. Okay, I, I, uh, number two, know where your ass is at. Alright, I can dig it. Yeah, number three, you won't be in the wrong spot. You do not want to be in the wrong spot. Southeast, Northeast, where you at? Uh, be ready to fight any op. Damn. Why do I be like everybody that? Everybody think they got ops now. I don't think everybody got ops, you know what I'm saying? But... But the whole time you could have some ops. The whole you don't even know them, but maybe one ops, but they be invisible. Uh, invisible ops. Invisible ops. Uh, protect, protect women and kids, of yes, course. That's, that's right. uh, number five, keep your head up. All right, yeah, stay positive. Yeah, you keep your head up. Uh, yeah, I swear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you got to keep your head up. You know, keep your yeah. mindset right. Yep. Yeah, you gotta play all your mirrors. Your left, right, right, all that. Uh, number number six, don't go nowhere you don't be. What you don't be. Don't go nowhere. Don't go. <laughs> don't go nowhere you don't be. That's don't. what it say. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying maybe there's a way. Like maybe that's what I'm supposed to say it a different way. Nah, that's how somebody wrote this. It said, don't go nowhere you don't be. But what that means is don't go anywhere you're not around. What? But to be honest, that's 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 a that's a mindset. That's a closed mindset right there. To be honest, you know what I'm saying. Don't go nowhere we haven't been around, so you're not gonna venture out to new places. You can't be, you, <laughs> I'm not going to Virginia. I ain't going to Pentagon Mall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You gotta okay. Pentagon Mall is one of those malls. <laughs> <laughs> you risk it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, mean, I ain't going know. over that bridge. And, and, I mean, you know, they treat us a little different over there. Uh, uh, <laughs> number uh, seven. Don't go like that. You wanna break that down for me? <laughs> don't don't go like that. Like don't don't go for no bullshit for real. You okay. know what I'm saying? Don't you know stand stand on your uh stand, stand on your words. Stand you know what I'm saying? Right, okay. <laughs> be a, be a man about it. You All know right. what I'm saying? Don't go like that. You know All what I'm right. saying? Okay. Don't stand don't stand on one block too long. Keep it moving. Uh somebody in the comments said how he gonna stand on the block? But <laughs> we gonna <laughs> Number number yeah, nine, bro. be you. All right, be you. Always you. Look at yourself in the mirror. Know who you are. All right, number ten. Remember, everybody ain't playing. I don't be joking around with nobody. I don't be joning. That's why I don't. I don't don't nah, understand y'all DMV comedians. How nah, y'all be joning somebody you don't know? We you gonna try feelings? Nah, I mean, me being from Maryland, like. Everybody, everybody, Joan. That was something we used to. I used to love going to the lunch room just to Joan. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think as I got older, I stopped Joan as much. But like, that was like a sport in school. Like for real, we used to go to the lunch table. Where everybody used to get Joan like the whole time. <laughs> but how it is now? Somebody gonna go to the the trunk? Yeah, yeah everybody's so sensitive. Everybody's man. sensitive, you, you, man. You, you can't, you, you can't talk about people and stuff like that. That's why, yeah. Don't you? Uh, do you ever roast? You've only ever been on like a, a comedy thing, like people be roasting people. Yeah, yeah. I, I have, I have been on one uh, before. Uh, I think it was actually who was that? Who was he roasting? I actually forgot which, which, that's one, a, which one it was. That's a goddamn blood sport. But okay, <laughs> uh, we got the DMV news. Quick thinking, you gotta be real quick thinking. Yes, yeah. like I said last week, I think of that shit when I'm riding home. I'm like, damn it, I should have said <laughs> blah blah blah. All right. Oh, one more DMV. Uh, one more DMV news. 
uh, while, while while we were twerking and all that shit, a, a white dude was trying to was blow twerking? up. No. <laughs> What I what said? You said you said while we was twerking, I was like, really? I mean, as a people, I mean, as a people, as a people, we were twerking, okay, as a people, we were twerking, all right, and we were eating hot dogs. <laughs> we were twerking and eating hot dogs. Wow, we got a neo Nazi getting locked up. He was trying to blow shit up in the in the DMV area. All right, let me read, let me read this shit. All right, he and, he looked weird. He looked weird. He looked weird. All right. Uh, ex student pleads uh, guilty to swatting. You know what swatting is? It's like, this is what young white kids when do. When they put like a swat skill or something? No, they, uh, they call the FBI. They get your address and they call the FBI saying that you got a bomb or something. So they, they so this, the FBI send a swat team to your house and fuck up your whole shit. That's what they do. So. What type? I, I know. Uh, so, oh, to somebody else. Though. To somebody else. That's fucked up. And th this That's dude was trying up. to. He 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 was trying to. <laughs> let me read it. Uh, he pleads crazy. guilty to swatting conspiracy with neo Nazi, an uh, old Dominion student, who targeted his school with a bomb threat so he can skip class. He pleaded guilty to swatting. He ended up uh, encompassing a neo Nazi leader and others who target a black church, a news outlet, and a cabinet secretary. So the dude name is John William Kirby Kelly. You know, it's called, you know. It's, so he you know, did it on Kirby. accident and actually caught somebody. No, he was, he was on, he was on this uh, white supremacist web, website, little chat. Yeah. He was talking about doing it. And they was like, yo, why are you going to talk about doing it? They're going to find out, they're going to link you to it. So he called, he left some, um, like some, a little backpack in the college and he called yeah. he called the college and he called the fbi the fbi and everybody traced it to the guy and then they looked at his emails and they looked at uh his websites and all this and they found out that he was connected to a neo-nazi uh called neo-nazi group called adam waffen so what they do is they they plan shit swatting and blowing up black churches so yeah. dummy that's it so, so he was in, uh, oh yeah, he was in Vienna, Virginia, so F Fairfax, that area. Yeah. So y'all be careful out there. So, all right, so fuck him. <laughs> yeah. All right, you got anything on that? You, did you know anything about swatting? Nah, I didn't know nothing about that. That was new to me. Oh, yeah, that's what they do. All right. All right, let's get to, uh, shall I see on my timeline? Shall I see on my timeline? It's a bunch of memes and videos where, you know, I want your opinion on, you know, Marcus. You know, it's a lot of crazy shit that's happened on it, and I'm seeing on my timeline. And one of the things I saw that was just amazing was this bitter woman. I but she, first time I saw a bitter woman get burnt. <laughs> hey, dude, I saw this too. This is actually that's what karma gets you for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, baby girl, <laughs> did she pour too much gasoline? <laughs> Oh, what is she? I know she got a concussion where what, she hit her head back. What, what if what if what if the dude he she she was doing that to like knew he was knew she was gonna do that? He recorded it. That was him. <laughs> and he gets put. I don't know. That's just crazy. I don't know. That's I hope crazy. it was his car. What if it was somebody else's Jeep? Yeah, that's, <laughs> and had a sunroof. What if she got the wrong Jeep? Bitch. How did she even get the sunroof open for real? And what if <laughs> and then what Ooh. if uh the the car next to it? I'm like what? The, what? what yeah, like that, that, like that, that could have got to the building or something like that. That was like a big fire. That's not like you no know, little fire. Have a woman ever tried to like blow up your shit, like scratch your car or bleach your clothes? Cause I had that shit. Nah, too. nah, but pop up, yeah, that no. I had nah, one pop nah, up. Nah. Yeah, I never had nobody try to bleach my clothes or try to scratch my. And chase you while you were driving on, like where you were. They ain't chase you home or something like that. Nah, you know, I, I don't like them that crazy. crazy. You don't mm -hmm. like them that crazy? Nah, nah. It's oh. a mild. Crazy, mild, crazy mild women, crazy. they can cook too. <laughs> you didn't want that? <laughs> I, I can cook my old bill without the crazy, you know what I'm saying? I can. All right. All right. I, I learned my lessons. You, know you learned your lesson. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next one, next shot I see on my timeline is Megan the Stallion. Uh, of yeah. course, she got hit up. She got big. She got Biggie. She got Tupac. She, she got shot by a midget. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I heard they said Tory Lane shot her. That that's that's crazy. But 
They they were supposed to be like a, a couple or yeah, something like that. Yeah, they were hanging right? out and doing IGs, lives together, and exactly. all that stuff. I don't know what happened. She would just like put him on her back and like take him around mm-hmm. places and shit. That's crazy. She but. was like a little uh, <laughs> Michael Jackson and his little monkey. You know, what was the name of the monkey? Uh, whatever. <laughs> what was it Tito? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Bojangles. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say sprinkles, uh, damn, giggles, uh, giggles, or bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Okay, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> that was the trivia right there, man. That was the <laughs> oh, oh, some type of uh, water, yeah. All right, so uh, Drea, she was on a podcast she made fun of Meg and because she got shot, and a lot of people on social media was getting at her. Yeah, but Meg was like, "Fuck that shit." Yeah, that's what she said. 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 She want to put the black card. She want to talk about black women. Black women. She said, oh, you want to read that for me? Okay, she said, black women are so unprotected. She said, we hold so many things to end to protect our feelings and others without considering our own. It might be funny how, it might be funny how y'all be on the internet and just other, other messy topics for just talking about this is my real life. And I'm real life hurt and traumatized. I mean, you know what? I'm not, I don't, I, look, black women are beautiful, black women made me. I was raised by a beautiful black woman, a smart black woman. Uh, now, why she got shot in the foot may not have under, uh, might not have anything to do with, you know, her being a black woman. It could have been, you know, the attitudes and, or it could have been somebody that had some past trauma or something like, something like that, that happened. Now, I feel like, because you wouldn't, because you don't, like somebody's going to shoot somebody, they're probably going to shoot them because it was an argument or something like that. Something just happened. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this this right here, I feel like, you know, she she probably was hurt. She probably, she, he might have been saying some hurtful shit in that, in that car. You know what I'm saying? And then for him to feel like he had to shoot her? <laughs> Think about that. Like, like, that's, that's crazy. Like. I mean, I, I feel for Megan Thee Stallion, like, like, man, she she should have never had to go through that, especially uh, even turn up, but we, I don't know what happened in the car, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who did what. I'm not on anybody's side, but I love black women. <laughs> <laughs> I love black women, too. I love black women. But, and, but, but she, she was the same black woman when she was twerking and all that stuff, bouncing her knees, <laughs> using her robotic knees to, to twerk and all that shit. But, I, but it's true that black women... Are unprotected. Yes, we try our best, but where y'all at? Uh, I mean that, that that all falls back to like the Willie Lynch theory and stuff like that. And now <laughs> they, I feel like there's there she's using she's saying black women. That was like a trigger. And then there's art there's articles now on Essence backing up how black women black men are not protecting black women when we are. There's times when black women getting their ass kicked by uh, Asian nail salon owners or. Uh, yeah, and then or, black, women, black men are there trying to sh- <laughs> shoot up a uh, Waffle House or something like that. Yeah, yeah black, black men be holding it down. Yeah, but, like I mean, but you, but you, but you see so many. You see, you see more people that got followers of people that you know wouldn't do something like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You, you, the black men that's doing stuff like that, it's it's probably not on camera. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not in front of their face. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like you probably don't even know exactly how. How near and dear some black 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 men hold black women to their heart. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a niece, I have a mother, I ha- I had a grandmother that helped raise me too. Like that that put so much you know energy and, and thoughts into my head to to become the man I am. Like so like like it's people out here that 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 love that love black women. And I'm not even saying I say people because it's black men. It's it might even be some. Some Arabian men and other people that you know that 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 that, that love that love so black exotic women. black black girl. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like it's people, oh, everybody love. I love black women. You know what I'm saying. Yes, so, yes. <laughs> but all but, types like, of shades. You can't, be, you can't be saying that against them. Just be. I mean, you could be. I'm, I'm free for you to be a, a. You know, to do whatever you want with your sexuality and everything like that. But if you're gonna be pull that card, you kind of got you kind of got to uphold. You know. Not shaking your ass and stuff like that. <laughs> She'll be back. You know what I'm saying? Like, She'll be back. And, 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 and promoting it. And yeah. like, I ain't gonna lie, Megan nasty, you know what I'm saying? Like that's but that's how she get that's how she get her yeah. money. But she yeah. is a black woman, so she does she, she can't pull that card, I would say. I would say she can't pull that card. 
Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, next year I see on my timeline. Um, we got Champagne Ron's not here though, but uh, somebody posted, "Why niggas kiss your booty when y'all done fucking?" Baby girl, I'll tell you. That means you did a good job, or that's a good lad. Like you did a good told, job. You can't find nothing like this. <laughs> <laughs> that means that means you did a good job, or I'm done, or I don't want no more. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Do you have a, you have a signature thing that you do when you're done? Like, <laughs> You press L, L2, L, L1. Hey, that, that's, that's funny. That's funny. That's a signature thing. That's funny. Yeah. I, I think my signature thing is the same thing that uh, is a signature thing for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to rag? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, that's funny. 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 All right, uh, let's see. Do we got another shout here on my timeline, or that's it? That's it. Oh, that's it. All right. Oh, so okay. So you, you know, that definitely, you know, what I'm saying, it's people that that are ass eaters. That's why, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> when they done with they done with the ass, you know, mom, you know, yeah, what I'm yeah, 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 eat the plate, yeah, kiss the plate. I see you. <laughs> All right. I, I didn't know that one. That's good. That that's that's what I'm interpreting. From, All right. You know, what I'm saying, yeah. Cool. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got. Uh, we got Marcus King in the house. Um, the topic of the night is: Have you ever like felt embarrassed? Like not embarrassed, but like have these feelings for your ex? Like y'all done? Y'all not together? <laughs> but you know, what I'm saying you might follow her, and you know she might post something and might get you be like, oh, okay, in your feelings about something or a thought like a past, but uh. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know if you re like. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Virgo, so I'm like a real independent. I don't know if that even means anything, but yeah. But I'm real like independent type of person. So like, I try not like if I do like somebody or like if I do like my ex or something like that. Like I may try again, and if it don't work, I'm, I, I'm, I'm cut off from it. Like I don't even. <laughs> it don't even hurt me no more. Bro. Nothing like that. We like. Whew. Well, I guess I gotta find another one. You know what I'm saying? But like, I, I I'm not I never hurt off of something that they do now. Cause I kind of already released all that energy. Mm. <laughs> it, it could it cause you like we can be leave on good terms, bad terms, and you post something saying you got a, a sonogram or you married. I'm like, you can't do better than me. You can't do better than me. <laughs> nah, <laughs> the baby nah. get a, the baby gonna get a miscarriage. No, 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 no. You gonna get a divorce? Nah, nah. You got that? You got that? Nah, nah. I'm not. Nah, nah I'm not. I'm not like that. I, I, I said, man, I wish the best for for all my exes and stuff like that. I don't have wish no harm on them or nothing like that. Don Kenley got a song out. <laughs> if you fall up, I don't want to know. I don't want to know about it. You yeah. Dig? Nah, that's that's crazy. That's wild. That's a wild question to ask. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me off guard. I was like, well, oh, he gets gonna ask me about a whole relationship, like. I, I mean, like, look, I have, you, I had like a bunch of Arsenio Hall to, <laughs> to, to, to like Oprah real quick. That's like, what you have, like, man. Let me hear about your past traumas. Like, what? Mm. Nigga, like, what? Mm. <laughs> what? Why did she hurt you? <laughs> what did you do? I, I'm not about to get opened up. With, you didn't even take your, well, you got to do rag. I right? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even ready for the show yet. He gets, he gets. <laughs> He still got the do rag go. I thought he was gonna hit the do rag off when the show started, but he didn't even take the do rag off. He was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it like this. I got a bum foot. I might as well just keep it, keep it jiggy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you, uh, how many? Uh, you, you, you like a, a nice guy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, treat I, women good. I'm a, I'm a nice person. Yes. Uh, do you, you get, do you? Get into a lot of relationships, or you just like you. I try like, not to get into a lot of relationships. I try to build a bond real quick, or well, not real quick. I try I, to build a bond. I feel like you get more experience <laughs> when you just run into it, and then if it doesn't work out, you like okay, I learned that, something. That is true. That is true. It is. It is trial and error out here. Right. You know, it is trial and error. But like, uh, if you do build a bond with somebody, and like you feel that bond, like I feel like you just got you just got gotta go for it. You know, for real. Mm. Yeah. How do you? 27. 27. You got three. You got three more years. Actually, I turned 28 
September 1st. Oh, damn. What you gonna do for your birthday? I actually don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> Why don't you do like these rappers and one, get one of those homes you got <laughs> you know, and, and, get a, and get a mansion or something? Now, well, I, I probably actually want to buy a property, to be honest, but I'm, I'm still saving up and stuff like that for a couple for a couple properties that I want to have my eye on. Okay. After after we're going to do Hope He's All Right and then we're going to go to a break Hope and then we're going right. to go to... <laughs> We're going to talk to more about the housing and okay. all that stuff. Okay, cool. And more about comedy. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to Hope He's All Right. And we're going to, uh, uh, Hope He's All Right. We are sending thoughts and prayers to these people. All positive thoughts. Okay, y'all? Ooh. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. Why would he, why would he do that? Fucked up his glasses. <laughs> oh, that shit oh. hurt it. He's his arm. Ooh. Ooh. He knew he fucked up. Why would he try? <laughs> this is blurry, but my man. Ooh. <sighs> then my man. Did you see a body? You see a body was come out? A, was that a? It was a. We, we gotta go back. Yeah, rewind. Ooh. I hope he made it. I hope that man made it back to the made it to the hospital in one piece. Oh my god. And then this brother was on some Tony Hawk. Mm. Ooh. That man, his head still echoing. My man said, far out. Mm. Damn, man, ain't, ain't he got a ring on? And then, this is real life. You mean take it to the hole in the paint. Ooh. That's when you take it to the paint. <laughs> he gets like that. <laughs> My man, he had to bounce back, and then he had to make that layup. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Helmet on, cause I don't know about that. Stuff. That was tough, right there. Uh, 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 we'll, actually, we'll go to. Uh, let's show up your information. Okay. Let's show okay. up his information. Uh, so, do you have any suggestions for when a for a new for a newly wed or a young couple, young black couple in this area? Like, where is the best places to look for when it comes to housing? Uh, I would say uh, it all depends on exactly what you guys want in the home. Like you know what I'm saying because I want you guys to I want like uh, when I say you guys like any young couple or anything like that or young people that's trying to find a house. I want you to be able to find a house that's good for you. And the uh, things I would give you suggestions on just because you buy a house right now doesn't mean it have to be your biggest and baddest house. You know what I'm saying? You can buy a house that's you know, you will live in for, you know, the next, you know, 10 years and you can go move and upgrade to another bigger house. But make sure that you do try to get into some type of ownership because then you're just putting money into your, your bank. You know what I'm saying? Because every time you put money into your house, you're paying for your house. So you just, that house, if you sell it any day or if you pass it down to your kids, it's kind of like a bank of money because you right. can take loans out on your house. So... Uh, but the, there's a lot of uh, black families like they sell their they sell their grandma's house to a yeah. white person. Yeah. And then they just fuck up the whole shit for for their nieces and or their uh, daughter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, I mean, if if they need to sell the house for you know family reasons stuff like that, I understand that. But like some people do, they just don't understand because nobody actually one person bought the house, but nobody taught the family about buying houses. Or to, yeah, you right. know what I'm saying. So one person, yeah, knew that information, but that's the that's the, the power of communication. Like why families need to be around. Like, I was watching something the other day. He was talking about like there's no black communities. He was like we have black neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. But he said there's there's no there's no black communities. He said community is people that come together, are like minded, and and work together to make a better cause and stuff like that. Mm. He was like. A neighborhood, you know, he said, you know what I'm saying, people that just live next to each other and stuff like that. And then he broke it down like this and said, now take out the neighbors out the out out the out the neighborhood and then you just got a hood. Right. I was like, dang, I never heard it broke down like that before. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got no neighbor you ain't got no black on <laughs> farm. No neighbors and nothing like that. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, what's one what's one of the problems you see with uh that you come across with people trying to get a house? Uh I would say credit. People need to Focus on need to focus on credit uh, because the 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 earlier you get up on on your credit, like the the faster you can you can know how to use it to help you out 
you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm actually trying to figure out how to uh, get different type of business credit right now because I, I'm seeing, I'm reading some books and I'm also watching YouTube about people getting uh, like 50000 to to 100000 off of just making a business, you know what I'm saying, and, and getting credit from that. You can get... <clears throat> A hundred thousand for starting a business? Not, not starting a business, but building your business credit up. Ah, okay. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, let's say you have a business. Uh, let's say, let's say how your show was a business. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have the, you have the cameras, you have the network, you have uh, the microphones and everything like that. All these is all contribute to your business. Now, I, I, I think the smoke is making me forget shit. <laughs> I, was like, I was talking and I was like, what am I talking about? <laughs> uh, so, wait, what? But, uh, credit, credit. That's credit. What, yeah, so he was talking Black about credit. credit. <laughs> hey, man, I, I, was, credit. I was not supposed to be in here like this. <laughs> it's like, no. But, <laughs> but, okay, but yeah, I feel like uh, black people need to learn more about credit <laughs> because uh, credit can credit can buy you a lot of different things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not not like things that you, like you can buy you, uh, it can buy you assets, not liabilities. Mm. I used to work, I used to sell cars and I used to come across people with bad credit and I'd be trying to help them, but. Um, now you want me to tell you some tips that I did? Cause I actually like, I'm not gonna lie, like my credit score was, was almost a hundred, like 130 points less than what it is like today. Since when? Since like April. What? Yeah, so. My credit score is, what's that? Uh, 211. <laughs> 211? It's a drink. Uh, yeah, 211. <laughs> yeah, it's red. Red numbers. That's all I see. Dang, dang. 211. But uh, no, with, with, your, with your credit score, it's a lot of different things that uh, that play a part in them co calculating your credit score. One of the biggest things is your credit utilization. Like your credit utilization, that means like say you have a credit card for two thousand mm dollars, -hmm. and then let's say you have another credit card for a thousand dollars. So now you have a, a three thousand dollars is how much somebody trusts you with. Now, when you use a little bit of that money, let's say you use uh, twenty five percent of that money, uh, creditors look at exactly how you're using that money. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's called your utilization. So your mm -hmm. utilization okay, gotcha, gotcha. is how much you're using up that credit. Mm. So it tells the board that's the biggest part of your score. You know what I'm saying? So what you do? <laughs> I, I didn't do it. <laughs> so what I did was uh, I used an app called Self. It was a self lend it called a, uh, it's called a, it's like basically like a self lending app. That's but it's cool because the app is called Self. So basically all you do is you go in that app, uh thing I should give you my oh you, know, you got you got like things in the app get I should get paid for promoting this app. <laughs> <laughs> No, my brother, you gotta get your own. <laughs> Go ahead. What's it called? It's called Self. Self, all right. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's called the Self app. It's like a self lending app. It's a CD for like basically uh, basically a certified fund that, that uh, uh, so they're, they're called fintech companies, you know what I'm saying? Because they're financial tech companies. That's they call them fintech. That's something that's that's new. You, you, you're gonna see a lot of them, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a company called Grain that uh, it's also an app where they will give you up to a thousand dollar credit just to how you spend your money in, out of your bank. Now, me personally, I actually didn't get to try this app out all the way because it didn't accept my bank that I, I was banking with. But would you have Ace? No, 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 no. I got an ace. <laughs> ace no, I'm not. I'm not going to say the bank I have and everything like that. But I, they, they didn't accept the bank that I was working with, so I couldn't actually get the app. But what I found out, and I found this all off of YouTube, because right. I, I, I would go on deep dive in YouTube videos right. and actually figure out exactly uh, things that I want to know about, like business credit and mm -hmm. like credit and stuff like that. That's how I got my credit score up that quick. So what I did was I went to Self. I got a secure credit card. Uh, secure credit card is something that you just put a deposit down on. They don't really, it, you can, you don't really have to have that much credit. It's like you giving your, you're giving them credit for you to use. So it's like say, secure. It's called a secure credit card. Mm. So the other card, credit cards are, are like revolving credit cards. But yeah, so this was like this is secure, it's a secure fund. So it's like two hundred. You can put down as much as you want on it. So like I put like, put like you know maybe like five hundred 
on a on a secure credit card. Mm. And now my utilization I never touched it. Now my utilization is five hundred. You know what I'm saying? Now if I don't use it or nothing like that, then you know it's gonna stay at a hundred percent. But like what I want them to do is show them that I'm okay, I'm good with using credit and I'm not greedy. So I'm gonna use seven dollars, eight dollars. Yeah. Then I'm gonna pay them back twenty dollars. Uh -huh. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a, a you know maybe twenty five dollars. Now I'm paying back thirty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not about how much you owe them; it's about how you pay them back too. Mm, mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You pay them more back if you pay the your uh, your bill more than once in a month. That counts for more times you paid them that year. So like say you have a twelve month term, right? That means they gonna get paid twelve times. But no, if you you want them to say okay, you, if somebody's gonna pay you back, you want them to pay you back. You know, pay you back as fast as you can, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what banks uh, they like that too. Wow. Okay. So a secure credit card and um, self app. Self app and All grain. Right. Yeah, grain is a they they'll look at your bank account and they'll see exactly how you're spending, and they will uh, give you a they'll give you a credit line of a thousand dollars, like anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars, on how you spent on basically like what, what what comes through your bank account. They're gonna go through your bank account. They're gonna see like what comes through your bank account. They're not gonna like look at it like like the the CIA or nothing like that, but like <laughs> they're gonna see exactly how you're spending it. You, you buying like all that. this OnlyFans yeah. shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were like, yep, five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you get five dollars from us, but you can you can you can bank with us. But the self app is basically like the same thing, but they put you on terms of let's say you pay thirty five dollars a month or you pay twenty five dollars a month. So I think you can even put it all the way down like fifteen dollars a month. Uh, and they'll tell you to pay fifteen dollars a month, and every time you pay that fifteen dollars a month, each uh, what's it called? Uh, each credit bureau will um, report. Each credit bureau will report okay. to you. Yeah. I heard everything about making up a, a new credit bureau. Really? Um, That's gonna mess up people's credit. You know, <laughs> I wanted to know. We don't, I want to know. Which, I want to get to comedy, but I want to ask you. You know, like one of the people, like when you were young, you like you, you like you could be one of the people that show up to someone's house selling knives. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's funny is yeah, I actually, yeah, I actually did that job. Like I was actually probably one of the best people in the nation at that job. I see you, you, see, you, know, you can do that shit. Like, yeah, I, I, I did do that. Like I, that it was crazy. Like right out of college, I, I had a job doing door to door sales for roof windows and siding and stuff like that. And then like I was like the best, so I went down to Atlanta, and, and then it didn't really work out how I wanted it to, because <laughs> I was trying to be the expert door-to-door -door salesman and not run a business. Uh, uh, <laughs> so we, we this is before you went to college. This was this was okay. actually this was like the last years while I was in college. It was like the last couple. Years what do you think about door-to-door -door sales? And do you think it's like a pyramid scheme? No. You think it's fucked up? Uh, I mean, I feel like door-to-door -door sales, like it will teach you so much about sales that. You it will take other people like a long time to learn. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's right there. Like you, you like you know how many times you get to mess up in door to door sales. Mm. <laughs> like you, it's, it's another. You always know it's another door. So like now in my life, I even like look. It's always another door. Not saying that this door could could not be the one. You know what I'm saying? I'll make sure every door is, yeah. is the one. Keep shooting. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. So I always yeah. felt like some people might get intimidated. Like. They might get like five no's or something like that. Yeah, that's the, that, that's the thing about it. You get you get told no a lot, but if you realize in life you get told no a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you just gotta keep going for for that yes, because like one person is gonna say yes, or one person is gonna give you a chance, or one person is gonna feel sorry for you because you out there in the rain. <laughs> so like yeah, you, you know, know somebody <laughs> might buy you, buy buy a house from you when you got uh, the police. Harass you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. So you, you just, when, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, I've been my first time I actually ever did comedy was in 2015. 2015. Uh, when I started taking it serious, it was 2017. So I would say it's uh, probably about that's what three years. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you years. with all this stuff? Do you feel like you got re? You just got to restart. It's just a you got to be brand new. You just start uh, over. Now, no, uh, I'm. I guess when I first started, I, I wanted to, uh, you know, try. I wanted to try to tell like really long stories and stuff like that. So I had to really learn how to do like the stand up comedy style and stuff like that. Cause I was nasty, like just like a storyteller. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But 
uh, when I just learned how to do that quick comedy and stuff like that, which I'm still learning. Like, I'm not an expert in it right now, but, like, I feel like I'm, I actually am sharpening my skills. But now I'm learning to be a different, uh, I would say, a different type of comic and really uh, tell life stories and stuff like that and how, how I feel about different certain situations and stuff like that, trying to figure out how to make those tough situations funny. Who yeah. you, so you, who you like more, like the the Chappelle or, well, he doesn't really do t uh, storytelling, um, does he? Uh, like, what's a comedian that does good storytelling that's black that you like? Uh, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Richard Pryor. Mm. Yeah, like. That's a, okay, I thought yeah. you like somebody new, but. Oh, uh, uh, not, I mean, like, those are like, real, those, like, oh, like that storytelling, story yeah. like, yeah, like, they put you there. Like, remember, like, the ice cream joke? <laughs> <laughs> like, you felt like you was one of those yeah, kids no, right yeah. there. You can't get no ice cream. <laughs> like, oh, like, like, like storytelling. Like then you see what he does in movies and stuff like that too. Like you know what I'm saying. So, is, is there a way you can like make it into something like for social media wise, like construct it, like make it like two minutes, like when it comes to uh, like a stand up and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, I feel like or, or doing something just for uh, social media. Yeah, to 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 be to be honest, like. Uh, I, I like doing videos on social media and stuff like that, but sometimes like your jokes won't be like you got to get a crowd to really go go over with them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to figure it out. But sometimes you can get air out all your jokes on, on Instagram too. That's not per se my, my way, you all know right. what I'm saying? I do like to, to try to, you know, tell those jokes to try to figure it out, you know what I'm saying? Keep going on and stuff like that. Maybe if I, if I got like a, a cool, you know, minute or something, I know that's probably going to be kind of funny. Yeah, I posted and stuff like that. But uh, for me to put like all my jokes like in a two minute joint, I'll, or a skit. Yeah, yeah. I, I cause I, I I used to do skits. I used to do a lot of skits. I used to do a lot of skits. But I, I like the the art of writing it now. So that's why I wanna. And then when it's ready, you know, when I go in front of a crowd, because mm -hmm. now people, you know, they'll see a video. I'm like, okay, I don't need to go see them now. Oh, okay, I see this. So I need to always have my 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 jokes for when people come to see me too. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So. Uh, but I do still all actively write too, though. I write write a lot. You know what I'm saying. How often do you gotta write till you get a good joke, or it just comes, or? Uh, sometimes you write on the same joke. You know what I'm saying. You could be writing on the same joke for like, you know, you'll you'll see in different comedians, uh, like they might say a joke a long time ago, but you see them like they'll say it now, and it's and it's, and it's like completely different. It's way funnier because they've been working on it for two or three years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the jokes that I had, I may have thought about the first time I did comedy, but never really perfected it until like you know I started saying to the mirror to myself. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Yeah. I was gonna say like since it's during this pen, uh, pandemic, like how yeah, are you, you, you how are you do doing it. your your material? Who are you like you, you, you doing? You, your... you don't do it for nobody. You gotta do it for yourself, really. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 like uh, like right now with my comedy, I haven't. I haven't really did. I, I mean, I put I put some I put some videos out there, but uh, also I've been in this web series, so uh, I've been doing comedy through the web series and stuff like that. Uh, I'm too busy to really be going and putting a video up every single day mm -hmm. because of because of real estate and stuff like that. But I do love I do love comedy, uh, but I do write every day. You know what I'm saying? It's not like because I like it's not right there and stuff like that. Right, right. I don't do it. But uh, yeah, what's the web series? The web series uh, is is actually gonna be called We Hate Twenty Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I that's okay. like the, that's like the that's like the code name for it right now. I don't. It could be called something different by the time it comes out. But uh, it's by uh, my friend uh, shot by MLB. Shot by MLB. Yeah, uh, uh, and it's also is a uh, Paco uh, Multimedia. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so are you like doing characters or so yeah i'm i'm a reality actually, show yeah no it's not like a reality show but like we kind of do all have like the same names and stuff like that uh -huh. <laughs> so like, it's not like we're playing ourselves but like or it could be like the office you know, like the office it's yes it's a whole bunch of characters that's not really connected to each other but it's uh, funny because they're oh, all in 2020. oh, 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 oh. yeah okay, gotcha. yeah okay yeah when is what's still like when they're coming out like uh, I I know it, it's it's gonna be coming out uh probably during the fall. Yeah. Mm. 
Are you gonna link up with other um, IG? I mean, other not IG comedians. Or any any other comedians? Oh yeah, I, I have I, I've, I've linked up with with uh, I linked up with a lot of other comedians stuff like that. Like uh, a couple of people that you have on your show too, uh, like Dwayne. Oh, Watts, Watts yeah, comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I met them a long time ago and doing comedy and stuff like that at Martinis and stuff like that. They yeah. it's still open? Martinis? I know. A lot yeah, of actually, I, they're having rap contests or something like that. They're battle rap, something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we're going to be wrapping up in a little bit. Um, can, you t get, can you tell them your information and where they can reach you at? Uh, yeah, Marcus King Live on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, the agent, well, Agent Marcus King. Uh, also on Instagram, Marcus King Live on Instagram, uh, and uh, I work for uh, Porthouse uh, International Realty Group. So uh, if you guys wanted me need me for any type of services or anything <laughs> like that, I, I feel I feel like I shouldn't have said that right there with. <laughs> And I stopped to look at the camera. I was like, should I? I don't think I should have said well, uh, where I work Porter there. House <laughs> Rib. Uh, never mind. Look, I'm just a realtor. I came here to help. I didn't know this was going to go on. I was shocked. My bad. It, it started raining, so you just... You I was just like, I had to stay. He was like... A white woman came outside and said, come on. I was like, uh... I, yeah, it yeah. could have been get out down here. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know. You didn't even know. So I'm, I appreciate you coming through. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys go get our uh, Ish Talk brownies. Um, you can go on our website utcdmv.com, or you can go on our uh, also for our merch utcdmv.com. All right, the brownies are hitting. All right. Make sure you get some for this weekend. And uh, I'm B Moore, and we got um, AJ Buff Curry, and we got. Champagne Ron in the house. Well, they somewhere else. They'll be back. We out. Stay black. Get it.